many people uh, in Britain certainly and no doubt other parts of the world too are being isolated one way or another, are finding themselves very much on their own or they feel they're on their own and sometimes feel lonely. That's commonly reported. It's a testing time. It's a strange thing that in the old days, in the spiritual quest of old, going back a thousand years or more, it was the done thing virtually to seek out isolation, uh, to seek out a secluded cave or location in a forest or somewhere where one could enter into contemplation. And in that cave or that secluded forest, the great uh, yogis of old, uh, the great ascetics and the people who strove to perfect themselves did not feel this uh, loneliness once they broke through a certain spiritual barrier because they realized they were one with all life. In this day and age, we are not encouraged to do that. In this day and age, we are encouraged to serve and people are giving fantastic service at all levels, including the vital physical level uh, during this pandemic. We take our hats off to all those who are giving service in this way. But if you are being, as it were, forced uh, to be on your own for long periods, I would encourage you to turn that into a positive thing as much as you can. To take it as an opportunity, presuming that you don't have to work at that time from home, uh, if you have extra time alone, to develop yourself spiritually and more importantly to serve the world spiritually because the one thing which is not being mentioned very much is the need for spiritual energy. That in the Ethereum Society we believe is the ultimate solution. It, whatever other forms of service are being given, necessary forms, spiritual energy is a vital component and in this respect you are not alone because you'll be joining with thousands of other people all over the world who are doing this in one way or another through prayer, through healing, and possibly through certain forms of meditation. For example, you can join in with our online services. And there's another thing too. We are not alone in the cosmos. The great ones, the ancient intelligences from higher planets in this solar system and I would say, and this is controversial to some, even from the sun itself, have looked down upon us through the ages and have often taken action to help us when karma has allowed it. And they are very aware of our situation and our needs but they can't interfere beyond a certain point. But they are helping us, and we're about to enter a period where they're going to help us from November the 4th to December the 10th, very intensively indeed. A spacecraft is going to come into orbit of this Earth at midnight GMT on November the 4th and stay in orbit until midnight GMT on December the 10th. It's going to enhance our spiritual practices. So when you're alone uh, during this pandemic, when you are turning inwards to your higher self, your spiritual being, when you are performing prayer, when you are performing healing, during this period, you'll be doing it in direct cooperation with these cosmic intelligences from this spacecraft called satellite number Three, you won't be doing it alone. And you will be sending out 3,000 times as much energy, or shall we say enabling 3,000 times as much energy to be sent out through your actions. So this is a wonderful thing. You are joined with your spiritual brothers and sisters all over the world, whether you can see them or not, who are doing the same thing and you are joined with these wonderful cosmic intelligences of compassion, of scientific knowledge, who are coming into orbit of our world again on satellite number three at midnight GMT on November the 4th.